Hi to all, welcome to my first class on congruence of triangles. Today I am going to discuss what is congruence, then congruence of plane figures, congruence of line segment, congruence of angles and congruence of triangles. Look at these two figures. What about its shape? Yes, it has same shape. Then what about its size? Do they have same shape, uh, same size? No, it does not have same size. Now, look at these two figures. What about its shape? Yes, it has same shape. Now, look at its size. If you take this one and keep it. On the first, it exactly coincides. That means these two figures having same size too. So these two figures having same shape and same size. This kind of figures we can call it as. So congruent figures we can define as figures having same shape and same size are called congruent figures. You can find different objects in your daily life which are congruent. For example, the stamps. If you keep one stamp upon another which it covers, it will cover exactly. Similarly, you can find passport size photos, biscuits in a package, etc. The relation of two objects being congruent is called Congruence. Now we can discuss the congruence of plane figures. Let me take two plane figure. Here you have two figures F1 and F2. Are they congruent? Here you can use a method of that is take a copy of one figure and keep it on the other. If it exactly covers, we can say these two are congruent. Here you can see figure F2 covers exactly over F1. So we can say F1 is congruent to F2. This we can write it as F1 is congruent to F2. This symbol is used for congruence of two objects or figures. Now let us check congruence among line segments. Is AB congruent to PQ? For that, we have to use the method of superposition. Take, take a trace copy of PQ and keep it on AB. Here, PQ covers exactly on AB. That is, keep P on A and Q on B that covers exactly AB. So we can say AB is congruent to PQ. This we can write as line segment AB is congruent to line segment PQ. What about line segment MN and RS? If you take a trace copy of RS, and keep it on MN. Will it cover exactly? No, it won't cover exactly. So these two are not congruent. Therefore, therefore we can write if two line segments have same length, they are congruent. Also, if two line segments are congruent, they have same length. Now let us check the congruence of angles. Consider the angle ABC and PQR. Let us check whether these two angles are congruent or not. First, take a trace copy of angle PQR. For this, first place Q on B and QR on BC. Now you can see it covers it certainly. That means angle ABC and angle PQR are congruent. Now what about measure of angle ABC and angle PQR? Here you can find the angle ABC is equal to 
35 degree and what about the angle PQR that also you can find it as 35 degree that means if angles are congruent their measures will be measure of the angles will be equal that is if two angles have the same measure they are congruent also if two angles are congruent their measures are same congruence of these angles we can represent as angle ABC is congruent to angle PQR now let us discuss congruence of triangles consider triangle ABC and triangle PQR to check it take a trace copy of triangle PQR and keep this triangle PQR on ABC if it covers exactly you can say these two triangles are congruent here you can see triangle PQR cover exactly on triangle ABC so we can say these two triangles are congruent and this we can return as triangle ABC congruent to triangle PQR now when we place triangle PQR on triangle ABC you can see the vertices Q falls on B vertices P falls on A and vertex R falls on C then the vertex Q and vertex B we can call it as corresponding vertices and the corresponding vertices we can write it as A and P B and Q and C and R if it is so can you say what are the corresponding sides that is if we keep PQR on ABC what are the sides that means side PQ falls on AB so we can say AB and PQ are corresponding sides then what about other corresponding sides they are AB and PQ BC and QR and AC and PR then what about corresponding angles here you can see angle P falls on angle A angle Q falls on angle B and angle R falls on angle C therefore angle A and angle P we can call it as corresponding angles write the other corresponding angles yes they are angle A and angle P angle B and angle Q angle C and angle R now if I place the vertex Q on A what will happen will it become congruent let us check if I keep A here the corresponding vertex of A is Q then B is R and C is P now is it covered exactly no so in this correspondence the triangles are not congruent and this matching we can represent as ABC to QRP that means vertex A to Q vertex B to R and vertex C to P but this matching is not congruent here is a question for you triangle ABC and triangle PQ are congruent under the correspondence ABC to RQP write the parts of triangle ABC that correspond to angle P that means angle corresponding angle of P corresponding angle of Q and corresponding side of RP let us see by drawing its figure here are two triangle ABC and RQP now if we place RQP on ABC you can see the corresponding angles 
what is the corresponding angle of P? Yes, it will be angle C. What is the corresponding angle of Q? Yes, it is angle B. And the corresponding side of RP, it will be AC. So this matching you can write it as angle P to angle C, angle Q to angle B and RP to AC. Here you have exercise 7.1, do you answer? Here is your answers, do verify yourself. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.